Jesus' ministry was growing near Jerusalem, and his disciples began to actually baptize more people than John the Baptist, Jesus decided it was a good time to leave. Things were heating up with the Pharisees, and they were getting more and more upset at what Jesus was doing. So he decided to take his disciples and head up towards the northern part of Israel. Normally, the Jews, when they made this trip, they would go very far east to the Jordan River and travel an extra day or two out of their way just to avoid the land in the middle of Israel called Samaria. But Jesus didn't do that. Instead, he went right through the heart of it. He took his disciples and they, they walked for about half a day and they got to a town called Sychar and decided to stop for lunch. Jesus waited outside the town while his disciples went in to get food by a well. And as he was waiting there, a woman from the town came out to draw water. And as she approached, Jesus said to her, Can you please give me a drink? She looked at him in surprise and said, Why are you talking to me? You're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan and you're a man and I'm a woman. We shouldn't be communicating. And Jesus said, Oh, woman, if you knew who it was who was talking to you, you would have asked him for a drink and he would have given you living water. And she kind of looked around and she said, You don't even have a bucket and the well is very deep. Are you greater than our father Jacob, who dug this well? And Jesus replied to her, uh, If you only knew, you would have asked me, and I would have given you this living water, and you would have never gone thirsty again. It would actually create for you a spring of life welling up inside of you. And she said, well, I never have to go thirsty again. That sounds great. Where can I get this water? Can you tell me? Jesus replied, why don't you go get your husband and bring him, and then we'll talk. She said, well, I have no husband. And Jesus said, ah, you are right in what you said, because you have actually had five husbands, and the man that you are now living with is not your husband at all. Oh, she said, I could see that you're a prophet. Uh, well, okay, um... We, Samaritans, say that God should be worshipped here on this mountain, and you Jews say that he should be worshipped in Jerusalem. What do you say, Mr. Prophet? Jesus replied to her, There's coming a time when people will not worship God either on this mountain or in Jerusalem, but they will worship him in spirit and truth, because that's what he desires. And the woman said, yeah, I, I've heard such things, that there's going to be a Messiah coming who's going to explain all of this to us. And Jesus looked her right in the eyes and said, I am he. The woman dropped her bucket and ran back into the town to go tell everyone what had happened. She passed the disciples as they were coming back from getting their food. They kind of looked at her and looked at Jesus because they could tell that they had been talking. That was very strange, but they didn't want to bring it up. So they brought the food to Jesus, and they encouraged him to eat. And he said, I have food that you know nothing about. I don't, I don't need that food. And they were very confused. And then Jesus said, look, the harvest is plentiful. Here it comes right now. And at that moment, many of the people from the town started to trickle out and come to see Jesus because they had heard what this woman was saying. And as they spoke with Jesus, they begged him to stay with them for a couple more days and teach them further. And so Jesus and his disciples stayed in that town. Jesus taught them. And by the time Jesus left, many in that town had believed in Jesus as the Messiah. And they said to the woman who Jesus had first met at the well, they said, you know, at first we believed because of what you said, but now we believe because we have seen it with our own eyes. Yeah.